The title of today's sermon is, I Waited Patiently. And we're going to look at Psalm 40, where David begins the psalm, psalm written by David. He begins the psalm by saying, I waited patiently for the Lord. So David begins the psalm in verse 1. He says, I waited patiently. And like we said, there are times in life, we're going through things in life, we just have to wait patiently. And sometimes we do wait, but like David, we may not be waiting patiently. And sometimes waiting, like, like we saw David, can become very, you know, difficult. We get impatient. But I want, us, want to remind us of what one of the things, and we could you know, study on this a, a great deal, but one of the things you must understand that God is working in our lives in this waiting period. The only way you and I are going to develop spiritual stamina is by going through stuff in life where our faith is tested and the testing of your faith produces endurance. So let patience have its full course. Let patience have its complete work so that you may be perfect, complete, lacking nothing. In other words, when your faith is tested, spiritual stamina is being built, and that is going to bring you as a person into a place of maturity, into a place of completeness. So don't think when you're waiting, when you're in that horrible pit, in the muddy clay, you feel like you can't look up. You feel like not giving up. But even those little whispers, those little tweets to God, help me. Hello, God. God listens. So what do you do when you're waiting? What do you do if you're in that horrible pain? Pay attention to God. What is God speaking? What's He teaching you? What, what, what is it? What is what are the things you're learning at that time? Make a note of it. Obey it. That's what God wants. You know, we know this scripture in 1 Samuel 15, 22. Again, it's not in the sermon notes, but Saul learned it the hard way when he was rebuked by the prophet Samuel. He said, you know, to obey is better than It's not about how much sacrifice. Obey God. Obey. Listen. Obey. So that's the first thing. Second thing. Recognize and affirm what God has spoken about you in the Word. When you are in the horrible pit, in a Marie clay, when you are in the waiting period, of course there is frustration. But like David, verse 8, be determined. I delight to do your will because your word or your law is in my heart. God, my situation is not going to drive me away from you. It's going to drive me to you. The last thing, fourth thing we see David do. This is verses 9 through 11. He says that he will proclaim God's goodness, faithfulness, salvation, and righteousness. You know, he says, God, I'm going to talk about your goodness. I'm going to talk about your salvation. I'm going to talk about your righteousness in the great assembly. I'm going to tell people how good you are. So that's the fourth thing that we do. What did we learn today? You know, we learned, I did not highlight this point, but we learned that God works suddenly, God works gradually. God works both ways. We love the instantaneous. We love the instant healing, the instant deliverance and then you know the change in your life the breakthrough we love that but all god also works gradually because there are certain things that can be accomplished in our lives only through a process so we learn that we must let patience run its full course so while you're going through it let it run its full course because you're going to come out a better person what is god doing when you're waiting three things while i'm waiting God is perfecting something in me. Second, while I'm waiting, God is near me, leaning over and listening to me. Number three, what is God doing? While I'm waiting, 
God is releasing something powerful through me. And what's the hope we have? We have this confidence that, you know, regardless of what the horrible pit is, God will bring us out. He will set us on top. He will establish our steps. He will put a new song in our mouth and others will see it. I will give praise to God. This is our confidence. Not, let nothing shake the confidence. God is bringing you out.